Hi, this is Jeff, and in this video I'll show you the power of blurred backgrounds in your e-learning applications. A while ago I created this e-learning interaction for the uh, Learning Journals Challenge in the Articulate Forums, and I was about to submit this one. I like the, the nice clean uh, design, um, and I felt I could add something to it. And as I use blurred backgrounds from time to time, I thought, let's give that a try. Now, what's nice about using blurred backgrounds is they give uh, some additional feeling and uh, to the course, and it, it gives a nice design aspect. Um, in this case, the interaction was about a man enters the store. Uh, so I just figured, let's put something like a store in the background. So what I did is I went to Google Images search for store and found an image that I like. So I scrolled down and I found this image, uh, which I like, it's, it has some nice light uh, elements in it. There's some color and the blue and the orange here, uh, some, some light grays in the background. So I figured if I'm gonna blur that, it's gonna give me a nice effect, right? So I copied this uh, picture and I went to PowerPoint. And in PowerPoint, uh, there's this option if you go to the format tab to apply artistic effects so you can see a range of artistic effects here and blur is the one on the right hand side on the second path and this blurs the picture a little bit but i want to blur it some more so i'm going to select artistic effects options and this opens up another uh, window where i can do additional things so i'm going to select blur and now it allows me to play with the amount of blur, as you can see. So I just give something, uh, set it to a, uh, a radius that I think that's appropriate, close it, and I actually did some picture correction because I thought it was a little too dark. So I just played around with this a little bit until I thought, well, this looks nice. The, the bright blue colors and the orangey and the white still pops out. And so this gives me still a nice uh, designed element. So I went back to my course and I added it in the background. And voila, as you can see, this immediately gives my uh, uh, interaction, my e-learning course, a very different look, a very different feel uh, than the, the clean, flat design one. Well, with whatever you like, uh, is, uh, it's a matter of preference, of course, but it is a great uh, design uh, aspect you can play around with. So without blurred background, nice flat clean design with blurred background. Another thing I did because when I added the background, I also made these text boxes slightly transparent so the background bleeds through a little bit, but it's ever so slight. So like 5% or 6% transparency to the, to the text boxes gives a really nice clean effect. And again, enhances the uh, background element. So this is it. Find a, a picture that's relevant to your topic, blur the crap out of it in PowerPoint, add it to your project, voila, done.